Hey there, First Coast fam. Did you know that there was a national plasma shortage? And right now with COVID, that situation's gotten even worse. That's why we came out to CSL Plasma to learn more about how they're helping and check out their new facility. And I'm joined by Alex Taylor. She's the assistant manager here at CSL Plasma. Now, for people that might not be familiar with CSL Plasma, who are you guys? We are a division of CSL Bearing. We help with the collection of plasma in order to be able to produce biotherapy treatments. All right, so for people that um, might not know what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, what do you guys do here? So on a day-to-day -day basis, we will take in donors. These donors are coming in for various reasons to help with uh, donating plasma. The plasma that we collect on a day-to-day -day basis then gets stored in order to be able to produce uh, different vaccines and medications for those who have hemophilia disorders or immune deficiency disorders. All right, so right now COVID and the pandemic is obviously a top concern uh, for the country worldwide. What are you guys doing as far as safety precautions? Well, like everyone else, of course, everybody um, has to wear a mask. In addition to that, upon entering, we do make sure that everybody has read over the screening questions that ask whether or not they've um, been out of the country or are feeling any of the symptoms uh, COVID rela related. Mm -hmm. And of those who pass all of that, then they are able to continue with the donation. Now, if they are coming in to donate after having COVID, we do accept those individuals as well. And in that, in that instance, they are um, dealt with a little differently. They have to come in uh, 28 days or 14 to 28 days past having been diagnosed and recovered from their symptoms and shown that they had a positive uh, diagnosis. And then they're able to donate um, pending upon their medical history. And those donations that we collect from those individuals then get sent off so that they can assist with our efforts to come up with a vaccination for COVID. So that's how you guys are actually um, assisting during this pandemic, because that is something that was touched on earlier was that uh, CSL Plasma is looking to help during this pandemic. So expand on that a little bit more. So in addition to just taking in collections, we're also trying to run different uh, programs where we uh, connect with our, our local community. We have our first responders that we are going to be uh, awarding them or uh, supplying them with meals in the upcoming weeks to say thank you for all of their efforts. Uh, in addition to that, we'll, we look to be able to get some community relations set up so we can be able to give back to the immediate community those who need it. Those who donate with CSL Plasma, they are compensated for their donations, which then in turn helps with anything that they may need, or it's just an extra bonus for just having that open heart to come in and, and donating and help those who are truly in need. Absolutely, so it, it sounds like you're gonna get a benefit out of it anyway, but I think the true benefit is the fact that we would be helping during this pandemic, so I think that's great. Uh, where are you guys located? What are your hours of operation? We're located on the north side of Jacksonville at 5000 Norwood Avenue, Jacksonville, Florida, 32206. And we're open Tuesday through Saturday and from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And where can people go to learn more information? They can visit us at www.cslplasma.com. And then if they wanted to give us a phone call, we are here at 352-619-0303. Thank you so much for your time, Alex. And of course, you can always find this information again on our website at firstcoastliving.net.